You're watching Sportpedia channel. How was lacrosse invented? Well, it's a family. Lacrosse is not like any other sport. It's more of a way of life. Have you ever heard of it before? Okay, folks. Let's dive into the history of lacrosse. Chapter 1. The Origins of the Game Lacrosse is the oldest team sport in America, and dates back to the 11th century, when the Haudenosaunee, or Iroquois, played it, in what is now New York and parts of Canada. The game was played by the Native American Indians, and it was originally known as stickball. Lacrosse's religious roots may be traced back to Native American tribes, who used it to terminate conflicts, treat the sick, and increase the male population's endurance and strength. There were massive lacrosse competitions that could held from 100 to 1,000 men. The events were played in huge areas between villages, and the goals would range from 500 yards to 6 miles apart. The goals were first marked by trees and rocks, but in later years, wooden poles were used instead. The ball was thrown into the air to signal the start of the game, and participants would race to be the first to catch it. But more on the game rules later in the video. The size of the lacrosse ball was not standard, and had a different size range. Balls were allegedly constructed of deer skins, packed with animal hair, while certain Indian tribes reportedly used wooden balls instead. The game used to be quite violent, sometimes leading to shattered limbs, and occasionally, fatal head strikes. Chapter 2. The Basic Game Rules Lacrosse is a team game, in which a ball is passed between teammates using a stick with a mesh, or net at one end. The objective of the game is to fire the ball into the opponent's goal, more often than they do into yours, which is similar to the goal of many team sports using a ball. In order to prevent your opponents from obtaining custody of the ball, you can use the lacrosse stick, also known as a cross, to catch, carry, and pass the ball. The defensive team might try to dislodge the opposing team while they have the ball, by using their bodies or sticks. To score a goal, a team must propel the ball from their lacrosse stick, into the goal such that it fully crosses the goal line. Infringements, such as a player entering the crease, before the ball has crossed the goal line, will result in the goal being disallowed. The side that scores the most goals throughout the course of the game, is simply the victor. After the game has ended, and the scores are equal, there may be another round of sudden victory over time, during which the team that scores first, wins the match. Lacrosse is played on a field measuring 110 yards in length, by 60 yards in width, with goals at either end, measuring 6 feet by 6 feet. The game duration is split into 4 quarters, each of 20 minutes. Team timeouts may be called by either side, during which the game time will be paused. Each player carries a stick or cross, with up to four, carrying a long stick, and the rest carrying a short stick. Players who make infringements, such as being offside or holding an opponent, are punished by being sent to the penalty box for a period of time, usually 30 seconds, or one minute. Once a team gains possession of the ball, they must ensure the ball is progressed beyond the midfield line within 20 seconds, to encourage a fast-flowing game. Chapter 3. The Growth of the Game one of the first people to write about lacrosse, was a Frenchman named Jean de Brebeuf in 1636. He watched a competition named Huron, which is now located in Ontario, Canada. Soon after, colonists started to get quite interested in the game. Soldiers began to gamble among themselves and choose their favorite players, after being amazed by the intensity of the combat, quickness, and harsh play. A demonstration of lacrosse was given by the Caughnawaga Indians in Montreal in 1834. As a result, lacrosse started to gain popularity in Canada. The Montreal Lacrosse Club was established in 1856 by Canadian dentist Dr. William George Beers. A decade later, Beers drafted regulations that included limiting the number of players, adopting a rubber ball, and redesigning the stick. By 1860 lacrosse had become Canada's national game, and in 1867 exhibition games were played in England. The oldest World Lacrosse Championship match was recorded on April 22, 1870, in Montreal. The Montreal Lacrosse Club accepted a challenge against the Kahnuaga lacrosse team. In 1883, 
a touring team from Canada and a team made up of Iroquois natives, visited Scotland for a game. By the turn of the century, lacrosse was becoming more popular in several countries, and in 1904 and 1908, the game was played in the Summer Olympics. The first women's lacrosse game was organized in the last decade of the 19th century, in Scotland. The United States Women's Lacrosse Association was established in 1931, and the first U.S. team was selected in 1933. Then, the Australian Women's Lacrosse Council was founded in 1962. Nowadays, the World Lacrosse Championship is held every four years. The WLC began before any international lacrosse organization had been formed. It started as a four-team invitational tournament, which coincided with Canada's centennial lacrosse celebration, in 1967. Canada, the United States, Australia, and England participated. Seven years later, Australia celebrated its lacrosse centenary, and another four-team invitational tournament was held, between the same countries. After that tournament in 1974, the first international governing body for men's lacrosse was formed, the International Lacrosse Federation. The ILF merged with the women's governing body in 2008, to form the Federation of International Lacrosse, which changed its name to World Lacrosse in 2019. Chapter 4. The Variations of the Sport Lacrosse has many variants, each having slight, or major different rules. Box Lacrosse Up to the 1930s, lacrosse was often played on expansive fields. Then, in order to increase the revenue from their arenas, the owners of Canadian ice hockey arenas developed a smaller form of lacrosse, known as box lacrosse. Two teams of six players apiece, make up box lacrosse. It is played on an ice hockey field, using artificial grass in lieu of the ice. Additionally, a lacrosse field indoors may be used to play it. As opposed to field lacrosse, which uses an open field, box lacrosse uses a box-shaped line to confine the playing area. Compared to field lacrosse, where the goal markers are 4 feet by 4 feet at either end of the box, they are smaller. Field lacrosse is another variation of the game, in which there are 10 players on each team. The team is divided into attackers, midfielders, and defenders. The attackers are not allowed to cross the midfield. They can only do so, if they are replaced by a midfielder. The midfielders can move in any part of the field, and also help in preventing the other team to score a goal. Mainly, the midfielders pass the ball between attackers and defenders of their team. Defenders are the main ones, to prevent the opponents to score a goal. The sticks of the defenders are longer than the attackers and midfielders. Another type of the game is women's lacrosse. The regulations for men's and women's lacrosse are considerably different. The most important ones are the tools and the permission for physical interaction. Because mouth and face guards are the only pieces of protective gear worn by the players, this type of sport forbids any physical contact. All across the world, face guards are optional, but they are a legal requirement in the US. Along with body checking, stick checking is also used here. A typical women's lacrosse match starts with the ball being placed between the heads of the crosses, which are raised in the air in front of the players above the hips. Intercross, often known as soft stick lacrosse, is a non-contact variation of lacrosse that uses modified lacrosse equipment, and a recognized set of regulations. The head of an intercross stick is entirely constructed of plastic as opposed to typical lacrosse sticks, which have leather or nylon pockets. In contrast to a lacrosse ball, which is made of solid rubber, the ball is bigger, softer, and hollow. In Quebec, Canada, as well as many other European nations, intercross is a competitive adult sport, that is especially well liked in the Czech Republic. Teams typically have five players on each side, and the field is 20 by 40 meters. Adult goals are the same dimensions as box lacrosse goals, standing 4 feet or 1.2 meters high and wide. Every two years, a world championship is held, by the Fédération Internationale d'Intercross, the sport's global governing organization. Well, that's all for today folks. Thanks for watching. I will highly appreciate, if you like the video, and give it a thumbs up. 
See you soon.